dear learner now we are going to design foundation okay below column so in our previous lecture we have designed column and uh, we have understood how we will uh, calculate our load from building and uh, end of the calculation we reached on a uh, conclusion that this is the total final uh, dead load and live load in our bottom column that means bottom column means the column will rest on footing so uh, the load on footing will be same like that clear so to design a footing we will use which types of footing we will design actually we have two option the one is a square another is rectangular okay so a square will be very easy i will uh, design a rectangular footing and uh, you will be also able to design a, a square footing similarly so if we come here now for a rectangular footing first of all we have to change that all value our fc 3500 fy same and total dead load so what is the dead load total dead load is 32.95 32.95 total live load is 6.38 okay let's say 6.4 and always remember that for simple structure simple foundation will take only pack unfactored load or service load okay so done and then allowable sawing bearing sawing bearing capacity you have to provide your allowable sawing soil bearing capacity here <clears throat> okay so let's say our bearing capacity will be 1.5 ksf and here depth of the footing base from ezl okay from uh ezl existing ground level let's say is this is our existing ground level and the total depth you have to provide it here total depth of base of till base so uh why we are giving it actually when we'll uh, consider bearing capacity of that level then uh we'll remove soil from here and again when we'll provide soil here it will act <coughs> or it will uh, carry the load we are providing here as an excess load but if your soil test as per your soil test report if you see that this load is uh, already calculated as a uh, allowable bearing capacity then you are able to ignore it but uh, for my case I will ignore that load okay i mean um the depth of footing from uh footing base from easier uh, base to easier actually so uh that overburden pressure i'll ignore it now column size what was our column size our column size is 12 into 12 done then average soil unit weight as we did not provide the value of ace so average soil unit weight concrete plus soil that is not required it's almost 125 psf now long bar what will be the long bar will provide uh, let's say 12 mm and it will also be 12 mm clear long bar and short bar both will be 12 mm now to trial effective thickness so what will consider the trial effective thickness of our footing mm, as it is a two-story building so i'm considered the effective thickness actually effective depth so i'm considering that will be 8.5 let's say when we are taking 8.5 see her final thickness will be 12 inch and here our approximate width approximate width for that uh length will be 2.63 so i will provide here the trial length let's say six and it's giving us 4.38 
if we go for 5.5 if giving us 4.78 so that's a 5.5 into 5 okay done <clears throat> must remember the approximate b should be greater than of that okay so uh, and we're seeing that it's uh, giving us three signs satisfy 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 that means uh, for everything it's giving us the satisfied sign now uh, i will uh, change the two value for long and short direction here approximate value of a is giving <clears throat> so here uh, already also it's changed again i'll go for change 0 0.2045 uh, it's now 44 let's change 0 0.2044 it's same and again go here or 0 0.16 one two uh, 0 0.16 one on done so everything is okay now uh, also we are seeing here everything uh, giving us a satisfied sign <clears throat> that means our design is okay so uh, if we go for 12 inch thick thickness uh, footing then the long direction bar and short direction bar will be uh, 12 mm 5 at that 7.5 inch and another will be 12 uh, point 12 mm 5 at the rate of 7.5 inch center to center so this is how easy in this way we are able to design our footing very easily now if i go for a square footing <clears throat> only everything will be same only if you provide here 7.5 actually with respect to that value with respect to that value our l and b will be same so here 7.45 will provide here 7.5 and in below 7.5 okay see this is uh, 7.5 4 so if i give here 7 point uh 5 2 or 7 7 point 5 4 here also will provide 7 point 5 that's it <clears throat> in this way we have to uh provide that length actually so see how easily we are able to design a uh, foundation also for uh, a small or uh, low rise structure thank you thank you very much